Next up is our locale, and locale is the word to say, look, uh, let's figure out what language you want and uh, let's set it right. So that's what we're going to do in here, localizations. So locales are used by etc. etc. and you can set the locale any way you see fits. And in this case, this example here, it says English US. And you can then generate uh, these locales and your system will be in English or in German or in Chinese or in Russian and so on. But first of all, we need to edit an, uh, a file. That's one thing. We can set the variable in here, that's fine. But we can also set our keyboard layout. Remember, I am uh, from Belgium. We have Alzerti keyboards. And so I'll need to tell him, forget about this QWERTY thing, which is probably the standard, um, what if you don't do anything, and say him, key map is for me BE dash Latin one. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. So let's go and do it. So first of all, we are in the shroud, you remember? So we have um, booted into or, or put, we gone, went into our uh, future Linux system. That's where we are. And we're going to tell the system, take a look at nano etc locale and then dot gen. What am I doing? Okay, this is a dot. So configuration file for locale gen. List of locales that are to be generated by the locale gen command. Okay, understood. So if you find your language somewhere in here, you just use your page down, page down, page down, and page. Here is, for instance, English US. If I want something Belgium, I think I should take not that one. So it's this is not Belgium, it's, it's BE, but it's not Belgium. If you want to have the correct language, we have to go to NL. <coughs> Here it is. That's the correct version if you are living in, no, this one is the correct version if you're living in Belgium and you want your XFCE, for instance, to be in, in, in Dutch, in, in Flemish in, for Belgium. So for me, that's not important. For me, um, I always like to have my systems in English and I take the standard English US. Most of the time you can take English Great Britain as well. Uh, why not? So you can have multiple languages, of course. Um, it's just a matter of unselecting and then you have the possibility to have more. So I'm just, just going to select my English US and we only select the one with UTF-8. So it's not just the ISO thing is not important. Just the UTF-8 is what we need. Control X, we say yes, we save it and the file name is been written. Let's do it again. Let's check it out. So we move down to English US and indeed it's safe. There is no hashtag in front. Check. <coughs> Next thing we have to do, according to the wiki, and I'm following the wiki and it says here, we need to run locale dash generate me the locale. So, and that's all you see. That's it. Generating locales, if you select it more, you see more lines. It's simple as that. But for me, English US is enough. The next thing it wants to do is set the language variable in locale.conf, but there is no locale.conf. Let's see if there is. So CD etc. And let's see if there is, well, if we do list, it's going to be, oh, well, it's not too long. It's okay. There is no locale.conf. You agree? It's the third column. There is nothing in there. So we can do two things. You can do um, create a directory, create an, a file, I mean, like this, nano, and say, okay, let's create a file. We are already in etc, but we can just type it along. Um, like we're still on root. 
So etc slash locale.conf, that's what they say in the wiki. And then we add the lines since we are agreeing that we want en underscore us capital. Everything should be correct. The, the, the thing you selected earlier on, we're just typing it over. So write it down maybe because that's of course important that there are no typos in here. So we want the language variable to be uh, English US. Control X. Yes. Save. Open again. There it is. Control X. So that's okay. We have now uh, our language variable set. And the, the other thing maybe if you have done the exercise with me and you've changed your keyboard it's no longer the standard keyboard us then you need to do something else as well so nano etc the v console it's not existing so you really have to type everything the virtual console dot conf like so and then you say key map that you're using from now on it's not going to be US, it's going to be BE in my case, dash Latin 1, control X, yes, save, file name, name to write to, re-edit, check, it's there. So we've done now a quick, well a quick, it's not quick, but it, we've done our installation guide. Where is my installation guide? Here she is. So we've done the key map BE Latin. We've done the locale.conf to this exact thing, AN US. And we've generated locale.conf. So this concludes our locale.